a nightmare situation for pilots and passengers, a drone striking a plane at high altitude and top speed. This experiment from the University of Dayton shows a worst case and unlikely scenario, but there have been several near misses, with drones coming within a few feet of commercial aircraft, so the industry doesn't take any chances. Depending on the speed of the drone, or the relative speed of the drone and the aircraft and the weight of the drone, you can get some significant damage. With a drone collision you, against something like an A380 or an A320 or whatever it happens to be, you risk killing maybe two, three hundred people or more. It's not the first time an airport has been closed due to illegal drone activity. In July 2017, some flights from Gatwick Airport were delayed or diverted after a drone was spotted flying on the airport's approach path. But previous incidents have been dealt with in a matter of minutes, not hours. Now the police say the disruption is deliberate. The price of drones has fallen dramatically. They're now available in catalogues and toy shops, and in the UK you currently don't need to register your purchase. Although it's illegal to fly within a kilometre or about a thousand yards of an airport, those hoping to cause disruption can easily flout those rules. I think the real point is that, you know, it, it is an asymmetric threat and we, we need to deal with it effectively. And the people that are responsible for the security of airports and things need to uh, invest to ensure that we've got good strength and depth in, in terms of the security for people uh, operating out from airports. Drone manufacturers can build in geofencing, which stops the drone flying near an airport, although that can be easy to overcome. They could use a signal jammer that stops the remote control communicating with the drone, but that won't work if it's flying along a pre-programmed path. Now companies are developing counter-drone technology to deal with the threats, like this drone-catching net deployed from another aircraft. And aviation giant Boeing has showed off this drone-busting laser that heats up an aircraft's battery and makes it catch fire. The rules in the UK are expected to tighten in 2019 with the introduction of a drone register. But the problems at Gatwick today show that this is not something legislation alone will fix. Chris Fox, BBC News, London.